we're doing a little recording today and just wanted to say hi and show you our snack haul for today. And I'll let him go first with his snacks. Um, yeah, let's see. Which one do you want to show first? What are they? Fruit rolls, basically. These little things. They're strawberry flavored. Yeah, they and taste more like if you squash strawberries down and stuff and made a jelly. Like compressed and made a jelly. And just made a roll of them. Yeah. So like a gummy. Yeah, sort of like a natural organic gummy, basically. That's cool. Pretty good. Nice. And I wanted to show. We have been looking, well, I have been looking for these for a while. I ended up accidentally ordering more than intended, <laughs> as usual. But I found pixie sticks for the first time in a while, and they're the giant tubes. I'll try to fit into the camera. The giant tubes <laughs> of, like, the straws that they used to have when I was a kid and stuff. They're really long. They're, like, over 12 inches, and it's just, like... This massive tube of pixie stick candy flavored, candy flavored sugar, basically. And um, they come in grape, Maui Punch, which is this one, um, cherry and orange. But I accidentally ordered 85 of them. <laughs> I thought it was a 12 pack. Like, you know, like one of those little packs with the little mini ones that are like this big, the size of like a mechanical pencil. Ended up being the giant one, so oops, but a happy oops because they lasted me so much longer <laughs> than like the mini ones would. <laughs> and your <laughs> two. Yeah, and he's been helping me eat them, so slowly but surely. <laughs> Just because we kind of had to because <laughs> we can't eat them by ourselves. Um, let me see if I can lift the box. I'll try to show you. Oh god, the box doesn't fall apart. They're literally so yeah. many pixie sticks that like we open the box but it there's just too many to eat by ourselves in like one go and it's just like so many we're slowly but surely working through them they're just lasting for forever and they're good until it's like july 2022 so we have plenty of time to eat them they're just gonna take a long time to eat <laughs> yeah there's quite a few of them <laughs> And your next step? Well, what are they? Oh, saltwater taffy. You yeah. have watermelon flavor, as you can see, like watermelon themed flavor with the little seeds and everything. And then he got banana flavor saltwater taffy. <laughs> he's eaten so many of them that he's almost out of the whole bags. <laughs> One of the few candies you can stand to eat. I think banana is my favorite flavor of these things. Yeah, but you like both, really. But I think banana you like more, right? Yeah, I do, actually. Too bad we couldn't find strawberry. Yeah. You've well, been on no, a strawberry no, kick lately. Exactly. I need to get on the <laughs> strawberry kick. Because even if somebody mentions it, I have to go out and go buy some strawberries. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. Oh, you did get the strawberry fruit roll-up, so I guess it still counts. <laughs> yeah, true. It's like weird. In my whole work, and like somebody put me with a strawberry, and I was like, Oh, I'm hungry for strawberries. My next one would probably be, um, what are these? Alright, peach rings. Peach rings! And I'll show you the back just so you can see what they I haven't opened them yet because I'm trying to open only the ones that I want to eat at the moment. This is what they look like the red and yellow, and they're Little gummies that taste really good, and they're made with like sugar, white grape juice, and all kinds of stuff. They do contain peanuts, nuts, and tree nuts, so just be aware of that if you're ever allergic to milk and eggs and stuff like that. They do have trace amounts of them, so be aware that it might not be the best for people with allergies, but with people like me who don't have food allergies, they're fine. Your turn. You can do your regular snacks, too. Well, I've got the same thing on pumpkin. On what? Well, Which actually, one? No. Turn no. Back. We were going to share those, those, remember? Yeah, we'll share the gummy bears. <laughs> Let me get any closer to say anything. These are made by Kermit's Candy, which we found at um, Roll King. 
and then let me show you the back. These are just a massive bag of gummy bears. And those are called bonus gummy bears, but they're really, they're one of our favorite kinds of gummy bears. Like, the store has our favorite kind because they're really super fresh and they're really strong tasting. So they taste really nice and fruity for gummies. And they're not, like, super tiny either, so they're, they last us a long time. Yeah, <laughs> for know. obvious reasons. Little <laughs> rumors, I guess. Pretty much. You're just not used to sweets either. True. Sure. Sure. And then we were laughing really hard because we've been hearing this weird children's song everywhere lately on commercials and advertisements. You can probably guess what they are just by the name of this candy, but I happen to find blue sharks which are little gummy shaped sharks and if you don't know the song it's baby shark look it up i'm not gonna sing it and i'm not gonna get that tune stuck in my head all day but yeah that's been following us everywhere because you know people with kids and stuff and it's just ugh. can't seem to escape it for some reason <laughs> yeah and then what's your next candy Oh, no, no, it's, uh, strawberry licorice. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Um, we found strawberry flavored licorice. Um, oh, look, you can see the logo. We're okay. And then this is what they are. They're really big, thick straws of like licorice and bigger than usual. And they are actually still soft and chewy, so it's pretty impressive considering their size. Usually we see them a lot thinner than this when we find the homemade candies. So it's really nice that like they're thicker and they're still soft and chewy so they're not like hard licorice like some are. Well, you know they don't what I mean? taste a little bit like those. Are. No, they taste really strong like strawberry. Mm -hmm. They don't taste like the licorice flavor of black licorice. Well, no, not the black licorice. Like twisters and things, that's what it is. No. It tastes better than that. They taste more like strawberry than Twizzlers. Um, this is not an actual homemade candy, but it's one that I've been looking for for a while. Okay. And I got a, like a 10 pack of, I think. No, 12 pack. There were 12 of these boxes in the pack. But I got it for like $10, so I was pretty happy because it was a good deal. I haven't seen the big boxes of Nerds in a while, and specifically the Rainbow Nerds. I would see like the little itty bitty boxes for like Halloween or something and these last me a long time like they'll last me like this will be my snack for one day or like one week because um they're resealable <laughs> but I was pretty happy to find them and he's been helping me eat them too. <laughs> I always found it weird that they have feet but no hands. They have no arms or hands or, hands or anything. And they always make that weird joke on the back of the box about color. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if for people who don't know, I'm referring to the sign on the back of the box. Or, like, it literally says, A rainbow colors a true Roy G. Biv. Nerds are delightful to eat or to give. More than one color increases the fun. Eat these by the handful or one by one. Hmm. It's a weird puzzle rhyme thing. I don't know. Yeah, I like the regular nerds better. I don't like the rope with the gummy in it. Pretty much. That's just me though. Got fruit snacks and basically some other stuff. Just some other snacks. Oh like yeah, you got a they're big really bag of them too. Surprisingly, it's a big bag. And they're roasted and salted sunflower nuts. Used to eat those. Some people it's like, like them with the little. It's like ten ounces. That's pretty good. Some people like them with the shells, but I don't like to go through all the work. It's Honestly, nice. a lot of people down where I was used to have them with the shells and always would spit them out and stuff. And just like, kind of like you see in those little cartoons, people spitting out shells like that. They would do that all the time. But me, this one's nice because it has just the kernels, canola oil, and some butter oil or salt. Yeah, I like the little roasted and salted version. They're actually very good. That's cool. Besides, I used to be able to find those a lot at like baseball games and stuff, but like the smaller packs. I don't like the smaller packs. They always go They out don't last long them. enough. Yep. I used to eat them, but like you have to spit out the shells or whatever, and it was just gross. Yeah, I'm just tired of spitting shells. <laughs> <laughs> you want to show another one of yours since you have more? 
than I do. Oh. You like your banana chips? Oh, they're almost gone anyways. So. Oh god, finish them. We found those at uh, Speedway. Yeah. Ironically, we found banana chips at Speedway, which was pretty different because we weren't expecting to find them. I have them at World Team 2, but I was eating them. That's fair. I think they're more bitter at Royal King for some reason. Mmm, that's different. I don't know. I was probably just didn't want them at the time. Well, you already had some, so that makes sense. That pretty much also was like. Oh, yeah, I found my pack of, um, the licorice. You can see what I mean about them being thicker. They're way. I already opened them and so like, yeah. I'll take out a piece so you can see. They're way thicker than they. Normally would be. Yeah. But they're nice. They're still chewy and they're still good, so. It works. <laughs> My next cat uh, is one I think I've shown before, but it's hard to find like really fresh ones that are softer and not like super hardened because they've been in the packaging too long. But I actually managed to find some at Royal King that are circus peanuts. They're basically like candy marshmallow, orange looking candies. But, um, they're really soft and they're, like, sugary and just enough sweet for, like, if you eat, like, one or two of them, you're pretty much set because, like, eating marshmallow. So, um, it pretty much just tastes decent and it's a nice little snack. You don't have to have more than four pieces for a serving and they're, like, only, like, 120 calories for four pieces. So, that's not bad mm. for a snack. And they're really, they get really filling really fast so, like, you don't have to eat a lot of them. Once, but it's nice to have a little, little sweet treat. Sure. Do you want to show them your meat that you found? You mean the uh, sticks? The little sticks things? Yeah. Yeah. They Whatever they, they were called. Beef sticks. Beef. Got, like, little <laughs> <legs>. <laughs> They're literally called. They're from the Iowa Smokehouse. Meat hickory beef stick stubbies is what they're called. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Are we eating half? <laughs> yeah, they're they're very very good. Bag, but he likes them. I was quite surprised. They're a they're little bit. Really good? They're a little bit. Do they taste like, like jerky? Mm. Or more like uh, cured? More like cured. Yeah. And it's like they have a little bit of a little grease thing to them, but it's like. Well, most meat snacks do. Yeah, yeah. afterwards. They're yeah. very good. So probably going to finish them off pretty soon. So. That's fair. And the last one I think I have is. I don't know how many of you remember these from the little dispenser machines that you'd put like a quarter or 50 cents in or even knew what they were called, but everybody knows those little things where like you had the hard bananas, fruit looking candies like these. Y'all remember these? <laughs> any of you? They used to, um, or you'd put the quarter and do it halfway to get like a little bit out if you were like really bad kid or whatever. They actually have a name. They're called Rascals. I never knew what they were called. But these little, I'll show you a handful just so like, you know, what I mean about the bananas. But everybody knows these little hard banana, fake banana candies that are hard and sugary. But they actually have like peaches, blueberries, and strawberries as well. Well, little raspberries, little peaches and stuff. And then they have little strawberry shapes as well that little strawberry shaped candies as well along with the banana but everybody remembers them for the little hard bananas and I never knew what they were actually called because I never paid attention I just used to snack on them from the machines like the little dispensers and stuff I was so excited to find them just because I was like yay I finally know the name of it you remember cranking the machine putting 25 cents in and holding your hand and trying to get a handful of it yeah and hoping to god that you didn't drop them while you were trying to dispense it exactly and it just case anybody wondering what the rustling sound is, uh, forgive me for the ASMR, I'm putting them back in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> just because it's how I'm storing them at the moment to keep them fresh. <laughs> that works. What about it? Me too. Uh, I think the only one that you have left is these. Yeah. Those are classic candies. These are actually nice. Classic m &Ms. They're just regular M&M &M minis, but they come in a tube, so it makes it nice because you can store them and they stay fresh, and then you can keep the tube afterward. <laughs> I prefer crunchy M&Ms, but these work too. You prefer the ones with peanuts? No, 
Um, uh, or the crispy. Crispy, that's the one. Okay. I thought so. I knew it was one or the other. I just couldn't remember. Mm -hmm. But that's all for today. So thank you for sharing in our haul. And we will be making more videos soon. We've just been kind of low on energy and busy. So forgive us, please. <laughs> We're sorry. Sluggish Thursday. And we've also just been really drained and a little stressed out because of things going on. Which we will explain later in a future video, but we will try to get you caught up soon on what's been happening with us as well as what's been happening in our lives so you can get a little update on what to expect and what to know as far as like where we've been at and why we have been a little kind of missing in action on our videos. So look forward to that and thank you all for watching. Have a good day.